What's up, guys? This is the Rifeman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my uh, Rome Remaster Total War Let's Play as the uh, Brutii. So, to pick up where we left off, we are doing stupendously well uh, against the Egyptians. We took Salamis, which is a huge city, without a fight. And we also took Antioch, again, without a fight. But what we are seeing is uh, the Egyptians are massing behind the lines so I'm tempted to actually build I'm tempted to actually pick up these troops and march them up behind the line at Antioch to provide a reinforcement or a bit of a deterrent for them to not come in ultimately if they wait two turns we get stone walls which would be perfect she's cancel recruitment of that spy to make sure we do get a make sure we do get a uh, some recruitment done we are continuing to build an army here on the Greek Peninsula. So you're building ships. You are building archers and you're, well, you're training up your archers and then you're done. Corinth is recruiting urbans. So Athens is recruiting ships, but that's not really necessary. I mean, the odd, the odd turn of ships isn't isn't bad but I probably would like not legionaries I've got four five legionary cavalry recruit some more urbans you're on your way north my agents are going to continue their uh, who is it alright so who are you Mediolanium, confirm. Bonk. And then we're going to go try kill Arimnium. Or well, the guy. Not, not, well, not the uh, city Arimnium. Bonk. There we go. You're a bit of a loose end. Okay, let's stop that. Let's keep the recruitment just ending in the city. You've recruited cavalry units, let's get rid of this unit of equities. I mean, it wouldn't be bad if I... to buff up this force here at Suggestica. Because they do have... Well, they will, we will have a front line against Batavium. So it'd be nice if these forts can take... These cities, these two forts can go both attack Rome. And then this force can attack Capua. Then we will have to defeat these guys, because I assume then after this happens their bugginess will be fixed and they will kick into action. But right now there's not a lot else to do. All my cities are building. So let's see if this is the turn that the Egyptians attack us. Actually, let's have a look at our assassins to make sure they are... Bonk. Inactive merchant. Is there anything useful in near Love Avon we can occupy or monopolize? And that is the iron. Good. Let's hit end turn. Oh, we finally got within range of Thrace. But they've, we've already tried to uh, negotiate a peace multiple times and they still won't have it. So if that is the case, then then we can have war. Please ask for peace. Please ask for peace. Please ask for peace. Let us now talk reasonably. God damn, they're actually offering us money for peace. Sure. Our thanks. So the reason why I like that is because it means I can build up my forces in the region for the final defense for the for the final attack. We definitely will be attacking them, that's for darn sure. But they're paying us for peace, so I'll take that. Because this force here at Salamis, once we've finished doing what we need to do, we can then land. We can then land and. and. Uh, attack. Sorry, my sentence completely tried off. Um, we can end up landing this side on, seed on, maybe to hit them. Or maybe even Jerusalem, or maybe even Alexandria to get the great the lighthouse at Alexandria. 
Half the chance of a nearby ship to see sinking and increases naval movement allowances, which would be pretty dope. Ah, these are two admirals. Damn. Okay, get this admiral into port here. You guys get in there and retrain the ships. So don't focus on ships anymore. Focus on merchants to sit, get out here and set on these resources. Because we've got gold, purple dye, which is total value 30, which is pretty dope. I see you're full. You're maxed out. So let's go here and build a lookout tower. Then let's go over here and build a lookout tower. Get some visibility on what's going on here. Although it would be nice if I could get, some di get my diplomat to be like, Hey, get this guy out of my city. Or out of my territory. Or away from my territory. Cease fire in effect. The city grows. Tylus. Tylus, Tylus. Imperial palace it is. So one of my assassins has died. Placus Vanacanius has died. But that's why we've left someone in here. Your son. Julianus Brutus. You can take command of this army. He's a good commander, actually. Four stars. He's just he's just grown up. Let's check my family tree to see if my current uh, faction heir has had a son. Quintus. Good. Secundus the Lude has had a son. Quintus Brutus. But now, I think the Brutus line is secured. Because if these men die or something bad happens, we do have Publius, who has a chance to have a son, even though, had a, even though he's had a daughter. But then the line would pass to Oppius' his family, who has Marcellus Brutus, who has two sons. Julianus is the one that's just been created, actually. Created. Uh, come of age. See, this, is a, this shows how buggy this game can be. Like, look, these guys have been sat here for a long time. And no one's taken these major cities, right? Hmm. Oh well. Okay, Kydonia. Build arena. Roads. Build cavalry stables. Mazaka. Build next, next level walls. Follow them to the north. Can build a some highways. Lovacis can't build anything. Salamis can build stone walls. Actually, no. Temple, sewers. There we go. Yeah, Antioch's one turn away from stone walls, which is great. You can hunker down here. Okay, so it looks like the main focus is now going to be on producing men to fill these armies. And it looks like we're ready for another batch of uh, onagers. But it looks like Sparta is the only place I can actually recruit onagers. So these archers are ready. You've got unit of archers that can be donated to the cause. Athens can build... Another unit of archers, and let's build some town watch, just to make them chill out a bit more. Look at all this trade, man. It's huge. Okay, let's hit end turn. The spies are going to try and infiltrate the city. Good. Okay, stop all this. Good stuff. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, let's lose one of these infantry units. There we go. My men march determinately up towards Thrace. Where's the Julii? Continued. I don't know what's. I don't know why you have so many diplomats. What does Carthage want of us? 
Nothing. Something terrible. Dear friend. City offers us an alliance. Yes, because we're allied with Egypt. Well, they're allied with Egypt, so let's... Our thanks. If we ally with them, then it gives them a problem if Egypt betrays us. Build, build a tower. It gives us yeah, it gets a good amount of visibility. So what was that noise? City grows. Apollonia. Good. All the way up to Imperial Palace. Suicide demand for the House of Brutii. Um, okay, so when you get too strong, this is the kind of thing that happens. Um, I'm going to click on decline. Now I am outlawed because I did not suicide my faction leader. So what that means is that all of these territories that have no Caius Macro put lay siege to the city. This army is going to bust into Capua. You guys are going to Probably consolidate your positions. Abandon the fort. You men, actually, you could probably go up to there and help push Arimnium. I suspected this would mean we are immediately at war. So let's get the fleets deployed against our former allies. So these men upgrade and recruit and grow in strength. Yeah, so that thing is triggered. It's triggered when you think you're too strong and they pretty much, the Senate knows you're too strong and uh, they demand you sacrifice your faction leader. And you know what? The smart move might have been to actually wait a little bit, but to be honest, since when does the smart thing matter? Okay, we're going to fight this because it's the first battle against the actual Romans. <laughs> I do find it amusing that the, the Senate just goes, Hey, you're too strong. Su sacrifice your faction leader. And I think um, you start a timer then, more or less. that They'll keep demanding you suicide your faction leader. Maybe not one after another, but it'll be a mission that keeps coming up. So it buys you time, but not enough. So let us see how they like good Roman steel. Those overly proud Romans over there are the Scipii. They think they are our equals, our enemies. I think they are dead men. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. Okay, let's just... <laughs> let's not bang on too long. Um, okay, I, I like here. And let's create a wing of urbans to go in. One breach, a wing of urbans and praetorians to go through the other. And we've got a wide number of troops as backup. This is a good sieging army for attacking Rome. Cavalry could be cavalry is, is useful, don't get me wrong, but. Let's make a let's make a hole in the wall. Okay, turn off flaming ammo. It looks wicked, but so they've got light auxilia, legionary cohort, legionary cohort in the centre. Praetorian cavalry is pretty good. We might better lose, might better take out some of their auxilia. Boom. To be honest, because they are so limited in number, we may make one breach. Show no mercy. The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. 
Okay, there we go. Um, knock out the towers. At least the nearest ones, so they don't do damage. We don't want to burn the city. If it was, I mean, I suppose maybe. Well, maybe we do. Triarii can push up first because they do have they have dumped the Praetorian cavalry out front. Although maybe I do just launch another. Fire one last volley of flaming ammunition at those traitorous, traitorous Scipii. That's a good shot. Oh no, bad. Missed. Oh, we did get a hit. Okay, let's aim at the light auxilia on the wall to do nothing else except provide some arcing shots into the uh, centre of the city. That well, looks like the yeah, just... I just crept over. We're going to set the arena on fire. That's very wide. Where's my phone? There it is. I think we are going to set the arena on fire. It does look pretty neat, I think, when the the city is on fire the way it does. Because they've done quite well in that regard. Just got a Triarii in to fight the Praetorians. We can get some men up to start to capture the walls, and then we'll just march onto the center, march into the center of town. There we go. Get you guys in. Praetorians are very good cavalry. But we do have Triarii, which are spearmen, which counter cavalry. Let's see our infantry are marching up. We're losing Triari quite fast because cavalry isn't bad. And my my here come my my urbans as well. My Triari, they're shaking, but they're not wavering like these guys are. There we go, my urbans are in, are in position now. There we go. Okay, let's get... my gladiators in here. Get this wing of infantry involved, let's push up our triarii with them as well. This other wing of infantry... set you to go here but let's also get a legionary cohort on the wall let's group these remaining troops and just get them inside the wall and to be honest we're probably just going to speed up time chiefly because uh, the outcome of this could be considered predictable by some Aha! Okay, firstly... Okay, you men... ...need to go fight Triar... ...go fight the uh, 
legionaries, so we take this gatehouse. It's like execute order 66. Yeah. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Set them to go attack the light auxilia just to make sure they do die. These skippy eye pretenders are being cut down. There's the centurion. He's gonna clonk him on the head. Ooh, okay. Triaria, get out of there. Probably quite a good job for this weak unit of Triarii. Capture the walls and claim it in the name of the Brutii. There we go. So then everyone else can... ...continue their march on the wall. Okay, knock out that last Auxilia guy. Okay, good. Run all the way over to this gatehouse. See, this is the kind of thing I'd likely do when this, when the, um, when the, uh, when I, when I end up attacking the Senate and they've got a reinforcing army, just get one unit on the walls and set their job is just to run around. Okay, this brigade. Used to push up to there, but not in a rush. New men push up over to there, new men push up over. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're going to run through the square, but whatever. Speed time. There we go. As these guys walk through the walls, my legionaries are able to capture the the gates before they do any damage. There we go. The <laughs> cloud of flaming torches just in it, just marching constantly towards the center. No, I was going to say they might they, they may attempt to push men into us, but it's not going to work. From my point of view, the Scipii are evil. This is very much that. Okay, it was a temporary fight. Where's my gladiators? I think I haven't actually had a look at my gladiators. Chaps with an armoured shoulder, a shield, and they've got some torches. There we go. Well, they're going to huck some peeler at us. Bring down that armoured pretender. Actually, no, you do have to go fight those guys. The balance of forces is even. Shouldn't think so. Not against... Not against... Uh, not against Urban's buddy. Brother take gladiators, get in there! Oh 
The spears at the ready. So where's this glorious son of Rome? I can't actually see him. Is he already dead? There he is. There's only two of them left. And you're all here waiting for him. I don't care how many hit points you've got, buddy. The gods <laughs> are praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Then into the last holdout of men. So imagine that, your poor old legionary cohort. Urban's on every front, cut down in the back. Let's just speed up time. Because this is just a mopping up exercise. What a glorious sight. The true sons of Rome coming in to clear out the pretenders, the traitors. The noise is glorious. One last guy. This guy needs a promotion. I might even run all my guys away. I'm wondering if it might be like... There we go. If it was a bit bugged or something weird was going on. So Cassius Brutus destroyed Lucius Scipio. The, the clock has started ticking. Let us see if the Senate, <laughs> the Senate would, would, the Senate would, would decide your fate. I am the Senate. <laughs> Capio is ours. Enslave the city. It's a massive city anyway. It's a huge city, so let's get our retraining on the go. Let's get our repairs on the go. Don't have to worry about any culture stuff. Run you guys up to there. Run you guys up to there. Let's see what they decide to do. You guys need to wait to assault. And even then, there's a whole bunch of infantry. They're not... They aren't... <laughs> not bad infantry, they're just not as good as Praetorians. God, I love how the, the map's changed as well. Now we're... <laughs> <laughs> now we're the enemy of Rome. Uh, we've got... Oh, it's all pretty dark. Actually, let's recruit... Oh, Praetorians, yes. Praetorian cavalry. Cool. Let's hit end turn. Uh, lots of idle stuff, including assassins. To be honest, we're okay. Don't worry about blockading them anymore. Pushing up into into Thrace. Our northeastern flank is currently secure because we're allied with Armenia and we're also allied with Scythia. Come on, Julio, what do you have to say for yourself? Let us now talk reasonably. <laughs> Never! Until next time. There will not be a next time, Julio Slime. <laughs> I <laughs> come in, take Scipio City, and then along comes Carthage going, Hey guys. Yeah, you know what? You're allied with Armenia, so am I. Our thanks. <laughs> oh, I'd be attacked by some rebels. You rebel scam. Oh, they both sank. Oh, this is... Right. I was going to say, that's awful to look at. Let's retrain the city at Capua. Okay, good. The siege might still be on. We got surprised. So let's get these men 
into the city here and put a room near under siege. We've got. Yeah, let's get. Let's keep going. You guys try and run up and support the guys at Arishium. So you guys need to. Defo need to replenish, and then you're going to be. To be honest, actually, you're going to be ready to march and hit Rome, and we're going to have a bunch of guys here ready for reinforcements anyway. Oh, silver, silver uh, armor starting to come out now. Let's repair our ships. Yeah, Tarantum has got a foundry. Top tier equipment starting to reach the front line. Until I go for. Epic Stone Walls, Suggest could go for a Last Temple of Juno, Salona go for an Imperial Palace, Larissa go for a bigger temple, Corinth go for Epic Walls, Thessalonica go for Epic Walls, Sparta go for Academy, Bodazora go for Epic Walls, Aquinsum to the north, go for an Army Barracks, Love of them. go for a forum. Sardis can get epic walls as well. Byzantium, go for a pantheon. Synop, go for a next level temple. Tarsus, go for a upgraded barracks. Lobosis, nothing. Antioch, Temple of Juno, sewers and walls. Stone walls at least are what we need. And Capua, let's build. Actually, no, build that. But we can actually build onagers here. So let's do that. We should have claimed a merchant as well. Salona, we've already picked. Coming of age. Mentus Marco. To be honest, we've got plenty of men, but to be honest, what we're going to need is uh, troops to troops to uh, occupy the cities. A worthy life ends. One of our admirals has died. Suitable commander. He's got, he's got nothing going for him. He's 28, so he's not likely to do anything. We've lost both our senate officers. You can stay there, actually, and govern the city. Actually, no, you might be better off. Better off doing some, tr or attempting to do some governing. Two homages. Let's get two more. Actually, no, let's not go too crazy with the homages. Let's get the one. Oh, Larissa's has recruited a bunch of Praetorian cavalry, which is lovely, but not what we need. Okay, you definitely need just more. Infantry, which we are recruiting. Good stuff. Tarantum's upgrading and building. Capua is replenishing its men and also recruiting some onagers because they might be useful for the upcoming battles. Don't really, onagers are so useful because you want them to blitz their way across uh, Rome. Ideally, I'd have onagers in every army, and every army we would take every everything they've got. New men begin to siege the last Thracian city, but don't even if they do attack us, I don't care. How do the, the buildings are going? The buildings are going great, except for Lovasis, but we can't do anything there anyway. The Black Sea is now surrounded by allies. We've got Armenia to our east. We've got Scythia to our northeast. The last Thracian city there. Large border with the Germanic, Germanic peoples, but really the big thing is to get Suggestica. Although there's a chance that they might actually not recruit all the men they need by, by the time I've pushed up anyway. So let's head in turn. Just keep my <laughs> keep my assassins marching up. 
It's funny, really. Julie Eyes there going, help us with the Germans, help us with the Germans, help us with the Germans. Then we've just gone, no, you. <laughs> and we've gone for them. What do you want now, Egypt? Greeting. Trade rights? Yes. Our thanks. Let's. What are they going to offer me? Oh, nothing. I thought they'd offer me something. Okay, so now... Capua... Oh no, because you don't have an urban... Oh, I don't have an urban barracks to retrain. Cohort. Okay, let's merge. you got space for one more unit. And that unit is this unit of urbans. Let's march them up. You guys pop up to Eurytium. You got two siege towers, but I like having. Well, to be honest, I may as well just have. It's a bit silly to build two of everything. No, you maintain siege for now. Push up. Although, actually, I should have sent them to join this force here at Capua. Stop recruiting that. Let's get you building a unit of... She doesn't... Ooh. Have a unit of Praetorian Cavalry. It's kind of useless. But actually, I suppose I do want the best army I can get. So let's get rid of that unit of Triarii. Wait for these urbans to march up. Get Capua itself recruiting Town Watch. Not that, it'll, not that it'll really be needed, but it's probably a good idea. Thermon, build an aqueduct. Athens, build aqueduct. Or oh, city plumbing was what we built earlier. Alakonassus, build a next temple, next gen temple. Ankara, keep focusing on money. Territories that aren't on the front line. Focus on money. Okay. Alright, you guys are reinforcements for this. Wait a minute. You silly billies. You very silly billies. Even though this army isn't completely at full strength. What we can do is this. Oh no, I'm not bringing in the reinforcements I like. Okay, I wanted to... Although, do I have to march them in? There we go. Yes, there we go. So why this SBQR have been silly is they've marched this army north to try and probably interfere with our attacks on Julii cities, but by doing so, they've left Rome exposed where both of our cities can just... Both of our uh, armies can just hop on and take him out. So this is our new governor of Capua. I'd like to have probably done some unit swapping. <laughs> um, but this should be pretty fun. So, looking, but looking at the timer though, I think it's time to end. So have we got, at least we've got the faction leader in there. But yeah. They've got lots of Hastati. They're, they're better. They've got armor upgrades compared to us. But we've got better troops in general. So we should be pretty good but looking at the timer i believe it's time to win the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the siege of rome cheers everyone